friends welcome back to my channel i hope that you're doing well welcome to another video and welcome back to my july tbr this tbr looks a little bit different i am not doing tbr bingo this month and that is for a particular reason not because i don't love tbr bingo you guys know that i do but july is my birthday month and i figured for this year i would just spend the entire month of july reading books that i truly want to read not things that are randomly picked for me um i love getting books randomly picked for me for my tbr bingos but this month i just want to focus on romances, um, subscription box romances, rereads, books that have been gifted to me. I just want to have a fun, good time for my birthday month. So that's the plan for this TBR. So let me preface by saying it's outrageous. It's literally insane. So don't expect me to read all of these books because it's physically impossible for me to read all of these books. If they were like short little novellas, all of them, yes, totally, 100%. These are some chunky, chunky books, and uh, I'm just, I'm shooting for the stars here. I have put a lot of books on this TBR with the intention of this giving me a ton of options of books to read, and hopefully I can get to the ones that I really, really want to read. So without further ado, it's going to be a very long video. I'm going to keep this synopsis very, very short, if any at all. Um, let's talk about them. So I'm going to start with all of the rereads of books that I would like to experience once again hopefully have just a grand old time so let's talk about those all right my first set is a first time reread for me i love the series i love this author as you guys know but i haven't yet to reread the series so akatar <laughs> what am i thinking look how chunky they are <laughs> somebody send help um i hope to reread all of the books in the series for my birthday weekend maybe um but i might not be in town for my birthday so who knows i literally don't have any idea how i'm gonna get this all read but I'm gonna shoot for the stars, I'm gonna shoot for the moon, and hopefully end up in the stars. Is that what how the saying goes? Sure, let's roll with it. Like I said, pretty much no synopsis. If you guys don't know what Akatar is about by now, um, I'm gonna pray for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Faye, Beauty and the Beast retelling, at least that's where it starts off, and I'm very excited to experience those characters in that story once again. And speaking of Sarah J Mass, I would love to reread Crown of Midnight. <sighs> Have I finished the series? No. Um, am I rereading this for the third time? Yeah, uh, I don't want to talk about it. My friends are reading the series currently and I figured I would like to jump back into where I stopped tabbing the books and I want to spend some time tabbing this one. So that is the reason why I chose to reread the series just because I want to tab and eventually I'll finish the series. I will, I promise, I swear. All right, this goes for two categories in my wants to read for July. First of all, it's a reread, but it was also gifted to me by my wonderful friends. So thank you so much to Nikki, Dana, and Karina for gifting me these copies of this series. But I want to reread the Ravenhood series by Kate Stewart in anticipation for the full-length novel that is coming out in this world. It is a, a spin-off series um, called The Ravenhood Leg Legacy. The book is called One Last Rainy Day. I will put it here on the screen. It comes out in July on the 27th, I believe, two days before my birthday, so definitely getting read. But because I want to feel all the pain, all the sorrow, all the heartbreak, I want to reread it again. That being said, I literally just reread this one two months ago and read these two a month ago, but I'm going to read it again because... I like heartbreak. Um, polyamorous romantic suspense? Mm, sure. Okay, so these kind of go into some of the books I don't own, but I want to finish up a series, and by doing that, I want to reread the last two books in the series. So um, the first couple books that I have um, read in the series, I read books four and five and book one, but I want to read books two and three by this author. It's Challenge and Endurance. No, Endurance and something. I can't remember the names of the books, but I'll put them both on the screen. They're by Amy Dawes. They are the second and third book in the Harris Brothers series, and then I want to reread books four and five in the series. So I did reread these ones in 2021, I believe. They, this one, no, this one was my favorite book of the year, um, that year, and I want to do a reread. I love these books so, so much. They are, uh, the rest of the series are interconnected standalones, but these two do follow the same two characters, so you do need to read Surrender before you can read Dominate. But I love these books so, so much, and I do want to do a reread, but I also want to finish up the series. So I want to read four books um, in this world by this author, and I'm very excited to go back to these ones. These particular, these two books follow um, Gareth and Sloane, yeah, I got that right. Um, Gareth is very much a control freak. He's in control of every aspect of his life on the field and off. And his personal stylist, her name is Sloane, she is very much lacking in control in her life. She just come out of a very messy divorce and she's a single mom and she feels like she doesn't have control. So when they end up in the bedroom, they decide to swap the traditional whatever you want to call that, um, bedroom roles. And he gives up his dominance and she 
I'm sorry, he surrenders and she takes dominance in the bedroom. So I'm very excited to reread these. I love these so much. So excited for that. <sighs> Speaking of pain, 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 uh, I want to reread some Kennedy Ryan. Uh, I'm meeting Kennedy Ryan in August. And I'm so pumped for it. Um, so I'd love to reread some of her books as well as finish up the rest of the books that I own from her that I have not read. But the first ones I'm going to talk about are rereads. The first one is Longshot. I love this book so much. It has a special place in my heart. Uh, I was supposed to reread it in June, but I just didn't get around to uh, reading it. So I would like to like kind of roll it over into July and read that one as well as Blockshot. If I have time, I'll pick up Hookshot, but as many books are on this TBR, I doubt it. Also, these books are very hard hitting uh, contemporary romance books. The first book deals very heavily with um, sexual assault as well as domestic uh, abuse. So please go into that with not the knowledge that it has intense trigger warnings, but love these books so much. So, so good. And I cannot wait to reread them. And the other two Kennedy Ryan books that I want to reread are Grip and Still, the second and third book in the Grip series by Kennedy Ryan. Um, I have already read these books. I just read them in the month of May, February, March, and April. And now I'm going to reread them again because I love Heartbreak. This is my favorite book of the year so far, and I cannot wait to reread them. I'm just going to have a blast. These ones are a um, second chance romance with um, celebrities. Uh, that is dumbing down it so much. It is so good. It is so worth it. It's such a fantastic series, and you will cry by the end, I promise you. And the last reread, you would think that's the last book on my TBR, but <laughs> you're lying. Um, my last reread is Timber by uh, Tate James, the fourth and final book in the Haiti series by Miss Kate James. Um, I have been rereading the series with some friends, so we are on the last final book, and I cannot wait to read it. That being said, it's literally massive, so wish me luck. I keep forgetting to do, like, my little short synopsis. Um, Reverse Harem, Why Choose, uh, Mafia, style romance three men one female so good nasty cliffhangers so prepare yourself <laughs> okay i have a few more books that were gifted to me that i would love to read i got these recently both of them are actually from nikki so thank you so much nikki for gifting these to me i'm very excited to read them and that is losers part one and coach by Debney perry both of these are ones that i'm very very excited for i have been reading Debney perry and have been loving this author's work so i'm very excited to get to their sports romance and then i did read harley larue's actually i read several harley larue i read um four novellas so far and this is her first full-length novel that I'll be reading. This one follows the characters that were in one of her other novellas which is The Dare and I'm very excited to read that. If I have time I'll also reread The Dare because the audiobook just came out for that so I have options. Probably won't get to all of it but I'll try. All right the next stack of books are books I'm going to be reading for the first time just because I want to. So the first one that we have is Finn Rhodes Forever that's the wrong book. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, let's try that again. The first book is That Kind of Guy by Stephanie Archer. Uh, the first book in this series. I don't know what the series is called, but um, my friends have been reading the series and loving it. So I do want to read this one. I also want to read... Uh, it's her behind the net or by the net or something in the net um by stephanie archer i do have an arc of this and by the time i get around to reading it the book will have already come out but i do want to read the arc so i can try to get a review up as early as possible this is a sports romance these ones i believe are small towns so i'm excited to read both of these by the author then we have yours truly by abby jimenez i have read part of your world by this author and loved it so i'm very excited to get around to the second book in this series uh, i've heard really great things and i've heard it brings on some tears so i'm ready then I have two books in a series. I would love to read Powerless and Reckless by Elsie Silver. I was supposed to read Powerless in June, did not get around to it, so I'm rolling it over into July. And if I can finish up what's left of the series so far with Reckless, that would be fantastic. Both of these I am so excited for. I have absolutely loved this series. The second book of the series is in my favorites of the year list for sure. So I'm excited to read these two. They are chunky, but they are quick reads, so hopefully I love them. <sighs> up next, let's talk about Kennedy Ryan. Uh, again, <laughs> These are books I have not yet read by the queen, Miss Kennedy Ryan, and I would love to read them. Like I said, I'm meeting her, so I want to have read all of the books by her before I go and get them signed. So the first one that I have is Real. These are all the covers that are no longer available. All of these have been redone by Bloom, so I'm excited to finally get around to these ones. This is a um, Hollywood style romance. Um, it's set on the set of like a renaissance movie, but it's set in modern day. So I'm excited to give this one a go. I've heard really good things. And then we have the entire All the King's Men series. The first two books are uh, The Kingmaker and the Rebel King, and then we have Queen Move by Kennedy Ryan. So uh, I believe these are a mafia style romance. So I'm excited to get to these ones. I don't know why 
this one looks so much different than the other two but I'm excited to read the series. Then we have some books that I'm rolling over from June. First one being Hunting Adeline by H.C. Carlton. I'm currently in the middle of this book but I do not think I'm going to finish it before the end of the month. I just have several other books that I'm currently focusing on and this is not my priority at the moment but I do want to finish it. This is the second book in the Cat and Mouse duet. It is a stalker romance. Lots of cherry warnings. Very very dark but the first book was really good so I'm excited to read book two. We also have Rewrite Our Story by Cat Singleton. I am in the middle of this one. I'm only 32 pages in but it's a physical read. I do not have an audiobook so it's taking me a little longer. This is a small town... Ooh, I can't remember the tropes of this. I might have to restart it, honestly. Um, but I'm excited to give this one a go. I love this cover and I've heard really good things about this book so far. And finally, another book that I was reading with friends but just didn't get a chance to pick it up um, is Always Mine by Laura Pavlov. Karina read this one already and loved it. I think Nikki also read it and enjoyed it enough. Um, but Karina loved it and has already, like committed to reading the rest of the series so I do want to give this one a go and it's relatively short so it could be a really good palette cleanser. Up next we have Radiant Sin by Katie Robert. This is the last currently published book in the Dark Olympus series. I do want to catch up with that series if I can. This one is a Apollo and Cassandra retelling. Then I'm starting a new Tate James series which I'm very very scared about but I'm excited and that is Poison Roses um, by Tate James and Jamin Eve. This is the first book in the Boys of Belarus series. I believe it is a rock star why choose from yes please thank you then i'm buddy reading a book with a friend and that is a touch of darkness by scarlet st Clair. i'm buddy reading this with my friend mike and we have decided to jump back on our buddy reading train we started doing that last year then i got pregnant and he was in school and working so it just it wasn't working but now we're gonna do it so i'm excited to read this one as a fantasy romance i think and it is a hades of persephone retelling and i'm sure you're thinking kaylani we're done right you're wrong. Uh, I want to read a ton of my Mystic and Bellbox books, so I literally grabbed all of the ones that I have audiobooks for. First one we have is By a Thread by Lucy Score. I have loved everything I have read by Lucy Score in the past, so I definitely want to read this one. And you know, if I have time and I read all of these books, I would like to read the other two books I have by this author, but this is my priority for the month. Then we have Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. This is a, like a pirate romance. Um, it's very dark, I've heard, and I did read the novella that comes before this book in the series, but I have not read the full-length novel just yet, so I'm excited to get around to this one. Then we have Be the Girl by K.A. Tucker. I have read K.A. Tucker in the past. I read most of the Simple Wow series, so I'm very excited to read something outside of that world. Hopefully, I like it. I love this cover, so we shall see. I know I already talked about Devney Perry, but I would love to continue on with the Eden series with Garden Flats. This is the third book in the series, the fourth if you count the novella. I'm very excited for this one. Nikki read it and didn't love it as much as some of the other books in the series, but I'm still really pumped for this one. Then I have two books in a series, and that is uh, When Heroes Fall and When Villains Rise by Gianna Darling. I have been wanting to read a full-length novel by this author for quite a while, so I'm excited to get around to this duology or series i don't really know two more books in a series we have uh blood roses volume one and blood and, and roses volume two by callie hart this is six novellas combined into one so uh or combined into two i'm sorry so yeah i'm excited to get around to this i have no idea what it's about but i'm excited to read it so i can hopefully knock these books off my shelves. <laughs> I didn't add this to my reread section but i do have another reread in here and that is still beating by jennifer hartman the book that literally broke me. Um, I'm very excited to read this but it is very very dark so I'm curious to see what I'm gonna think about it the second time around. I have now read four Ken uh, Kenny Ryan, Jennifer Hartman books and have loved them all so I'm excited to do a reread. Then we have Absinthe by Winter Renshaw. I have no idea what this is about but I do want to read it so hopefully I enjoy it. Another Pam Godwin, we have Dark Notes. This is a student-teacher relationship, so I love a good taboo. Hopefully I like this one. Then we have Swoon by Lauren Rowe. I have read a book by this author in the past, but I don't really remember what I thought of it, honestly, so I'm curious to see what I think of this one. The last and final book in a duology, and that is The Lost Fisherman by Jewel E. Ann. I didn't absolutely love the first book in this series, but I'm curious to see what's going to happen with this one since it is a time jump, so hopefully I enjoy it. The last and final book that I own for this TBR is Second Chance Contract by Emma. Robinson, the last book that I have in this stack of Mystic and Bellbox books that I want to read. And lastly, we're going to talk about the handful of books that I don't own physically that I still want to read this month. <laughs> send help. Okay, the first one that I have here is Funny Feelings by Tara DeWitt. We are reading this as a group um, for a buddy read with my friends Nikki, Dana, and Karina, so I definitely want to read this one. It was a priority for me to read anyway since I would like to read it before Steamy LitCon in August. Tara DeWitt will be there, so it's definitely on my priority list. 
Then we have Obsidio and Memento by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, the last and final books in the Illuminae Files series. Um, Obsidio is a full-length novel and Memento is a novella, so hopefully I can read those ones and finish up that series. And the last one is a book that I am reading as a part of a read-along that starts in July, and that is The Witch's Lament. I don't remember the author or really what this book is about, but I will pop it on the screen. I read the synopsis at one point, but I'm very excited to be reading this book. It is in collaboration with a few other booktubers, so I will leave all of their information down in the description box below but the person that invited me to do it was Becky from Beck X Reads so thank you so much again for inviting me to be a part of something fun and exciting with you and hopefully we enjoy this series so <laughs> we did it that's the end of uh, this July TBR yeah mm -hmm. um hopefully I have a good time hopefully it's a fantastic birthday month uh, I'm a little nervous for all the books I have in my TBR, but honestly, if I can get to at least just one of these, I'll be happy because these are all books that are literally at the top of my TBR, things I'm so, so excited to read, and I cannot wait to consume all of these wonderful, wonderful books. So let me know if you've read any of the books that I talked about today and what you thought of them. Also, feel free to let me know um, what you're reading in the month of July, what books are at the top of your TBR. Also, let me know if you are a July birthday baby so that I can wish you a very beautiful, happy, wonderful birthday. And if this is going up after your birthday, then I hope you had a wonderful birthday. All right, that is the end of this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And of course, leave any comments, questions, and suggestions in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Ready, but I keep it nice and steady. Ready.